Good morning. Today for our study, we'll be reading Luke chapter 7, verses 11 through 17, if you'd like to follow along. Soon afterward, Jesus went to a town called Nain, and his disciples and a large crowd went along with him. As he approached the town gate, a dead person was being carried out, the only son of his mother, and she was a widow, and a large crowd from the town was with her. When the Lord saw her, his heart went out to her and said, Don't cry. Then he went up and touched the coffin, and those carrying it stood still. He said, Young man, I say to you, get up. The dead man sat up and began to talk, and Jesus gave him back to his mother. They were all filled with awe and praised God. A great prophet has appeared among us, they said. God has come to help his people. And this news about Jesus spread throughout Judea and the surrounding country. So a couple things just jump out at me. First, Jesus' compassion. That compassion, when he, he sees this heartbreaking scene of an only son being carried out to a widow. And Jesus, that compassion, just jumps out. He doesn't want to see this woman in pain. He doesn't, he doesn't want to see any of his children in pain. And especially that pain when it, when it comes to death. Because death wasn't something that was part of his original plan. That was something that the mankind brought into the world. And so pain, seeing pain, seeing sorrow when it comes to death, brings Jesus great pain as well. And that brings me to the, the second thing that jumps out. You know, we've studied that Jesus is Lord over the Sabbath. Jesus is Lord over the demons. We have seen here that Jesus, too, is Lord over death itself. Proves it as he raises this, this young man back to, back to life. And, of course, Jesus proved that when he himself came out of the grave on Easter Sunday morning. You know, death is, is something that none of us are comfortable. It makes all of us uncomfortable to think about death. Because, once again, it's not, not natural. It wasn't part of God's plan. And so there is, there's, a, there's an uncomfortable feeling because we know that there will be separation from the life that we know and separation from, from people. But fear it, fearing death, even death, we don't have to fear because Jesus is Lord over it. Proved it here. Once again, he proved it on Easter Sunday morning. And it was just a few a few days before, right, where Jesus was was on the cross. How much pain and anguish, physical pain, but then also mental pain, enduring hell, being forsaken by God. And yet, he went through it. He went through it, and that's because his great love and his compassion drove him to do it. Because it brought him far greater pain to see his children. He didn't want to be separated from his children. He didn't want that pain. And so instead, he took that pain on the cross. He took the pain of being forsaken by God upon himself so that he wouldn't have to experience that pain. And so instead of a, uh, a sentence for, for you and I of death and pain, no, instead we have a sentence of life, life eternal with God. And that's because Jesus is Lord over death. Because Jesus is Lord over death, that means you. And I, we too, have conquered death. Let's pray and thank God for this. Dear Lord, we thank you for your great compassion, your great love for us that drove you to the cross to save us, to redeem us so that we could be yours. And now, Lord, strengthen us to know this each and every day and to not fear anything in life and even death itself, but to know that you have control over all. And because we are tied to you, we will be now and we will be forever. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. So tonight, the children's service will be played uh, at church at 5.30. Uh, there will be a, it'll be a, a service with hymns and um, reading and devotion as well. And then the children's service will also be played. And then the recorded version of the children's service will also be uh, uploaded and posted uh, tomorrow morning. Hoping to get it up by about 9 o'clock. The children worked really hard on this. Uh, a lot of parents worked really hard with their kids. And so it, uh, 
it's turning out really nice, and I think everyone will, will really enjoy seeing the children share God's word and the message of Christmas with us this weekend. God's blessings to you on your day.